Hey everyone, lots of great new features to share with you. For the first time ever, Engage will generate a fully linked Excel spreadsheet. This means you can automate any PowerPoint file even if you don't have the data in Excel yet. Let me show you. Say for example, you wanted to automate this presentation. First, you wanna click on the Generate Linked Excel button. So when you click on that, it's gonna go ahead, take a look at everything in your PowerPoint presentation all the text boxes, all the charts, all the data tables, all the infographics, all the data maps, and it's gonna go ahead and create that spreadsheet for you that's already fully linked. So it's gonna break it down based on the different slides that you have, and you can modify this and update this as, as you wish. And let's go ahead and change these numbers a bit just to show you what it looks like. So once you've done that, uh, this spreadsheet, whenever you update the data in this spreadsheet and you go back to your PowerPoint presentation, when you reload the values, you'll see that the values are now linked and they'll automatically update. There we go. So now it created in real time a fully linked Excel spreadsheet. And whenever you change the data in your spreadsheet, you can then go ahead and update the entire presentation. The other new feature we added around automation is the ability to link ranges of data for the first time ever in slide merge. So what this means, it means that now for the first time you can go ahead and link any of these infographics. You can also go ahead and link any chart and you can also go ahead and link any data table. So let's go to engage, let's click on automate Excel slide merge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you what that data looks like. So you have all this data that we're gonna go ahead and link and automate. But in this last column, you can see that we're using a named range and it's pulling that chart data from the second sheet. So this is actually the data that's gonna feed all of our charts. So if we go ahead and run this slide merge, you can see that for the first time ever, it's gonna pull not just the information in those cells by row, but whenever there's a range of data that is required for a chart in this example or a data table, uh, or a more complex infographic, it's gonna go ahead and pull that. So now you can see all the different slides that have been created using slide merge, and now you can use charts and data tables and uh, anything else that would require a range of data. The other new feature we added makes your data tables and charts flexible when you automate them based on the number of records you have. So it'll automatically adjust and create more rows as more records show up uh, and vice versa. If the number of records get deleted, then the rows here will get deleted as well. And this is how the charts work as well. So let me go ahead and show you. We're gonna automate this data table here. And we're gonna link it to a data source here. But you'll notice that there's three rows in this data table. This might grow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select the range of 10 rows. That way we have more room if we need to add more projects in the future. And I'll do the same with this chart. And let's go ahead and open the spreadsheet. In this case, we have four projects, but I'm gonna add a couple extra rows beneath to give me the room um, to add more projects as we go forward. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that source, that data source. And if we were to go ahead and add, for example, um, two other projects and we're gonna add some values here. Uh, same idea for the chart, we might grab uh, a few more uh, projects down here. And what it'll do is Engage will automatically detect the number of rows. And so when you reload the values, it's gonna go through that and it's gonna automatically adjust and add the correct number of rows in your data table and the correct number of values for your chart. So now they're flexible and dynamic. The last feature I wanna show you is the new and improved align copy paste feature. So if you've used this in the past, you know that you can select any shape, click align copy, and then go to any other target shape, click align paste, and it's gonna apply the X, Y coordinates for those shapes. What we've done now is we've added this gear, and what it does is it gives you all these other options. So if you wanna also copy uh, and paste the font 
uh, the font color, font size, uh, the fill color, the outline color. So there's all these other attributes that you can save. So let's go ahead and try this again. So this time I want to copy the outline and then the font type and the background color. So I'm gonna click on align copy. I'm gonna to go to the other target, click align paste. So depending on what you want to align and copy, um, you, can, you can select a number of different attributes. So from all of us on the Engage team, thank you.